Don't sexually assault me. Don't kidnap my baby. Don't steal milk from my body. Be vegan. Don't kill me. Save me. vegan. This is an animal who didn't want to die. This is vegan food. You should give it a try. This was someone's baby that should make you cry. This is vegan food. It should make you smile. It's something you should buy. Hello students. Welcome to class. Well, we're going to talk vegan today. There's a list here that I'm working on in a Word document and I've called it here. That vegan teacher 30 tips. How to stay strong and remain vegan when you're hungry and you feel like you might cheat which is never how I feel. I never ever feel like I'm going to eat any kind of animal products. The only thing I cheat on is that I eat too many vegan cookies. I have to admit that sometimes when I get into them, I can't stop. And uh, that's not good. Or like instead of having just you know one piece of whole grain toast with peanut butter and orange slices, I'll have like five of them. It's crazy. I love vegan food. Anyway, let's have a look at this list. You guys tell me if you think it's, uh, you know, it's a work in progress. There's, oh, I'm always adding things. I ended up with 30. Maybe there'll be 31. Maybe some of them are redundant. I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments what you think. One of the things that I've been doing is copying and pasting this in different comment sections because over on YouTube, you can pretty much have your comment be as long as you want as opposed to something like TikTok or um, where you're limited to I think it's 150 characters only or, or something like Twitter for example anyway let's listen let's 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 look and read this together okay so number one hurry drink a large glass of water immediately to fill your stomach people often think they're hungry when in fact they're really just thirsty and I could have I could just be writing this to myself this is one of the mistakes I constantly forget to to follow to do one of the things I constantly forget to do is to to drink water before I eat I know that it really helps I know that on the days that I overeat is because I have just you know just piling in the food pile I'm feeling like something's I'm never feeling full this doesn't feel full and then it's just like realizing oh my god I just realized I never drank enough today so drink water no water bottle around go to the washroom Wash your hands and then cup them. So you cup them like this, okay? Nice and tight. I'm so good at it now. I've practiced enough times in public washrooms. And, you know, just gulp until you feel full. So you go like this and you just go like this. You suck it all in and then you just swallow. And so you can pretty much do an ounce each time. So you do that like 10, 12 times, you've had a big cup of water. So try that. Dance with me, baby. A vegan world is coming. A vegan world is coming soon. Dance with me, baby. A vegan world is coming. A vegan world is coming soon. Now that you know you're well hydrated, the next thing you need to do is to stop complaining and feeling sorry for yourself. You're doing fine. You're not a victim here. You have tons of choices. Just take a second to choose them. Believe it or not, not eating for a few hours will not kill you. I know it feels like you're going to die because again um, like you I absolutely love to eat I can't stand it when people say oh you're so thin you never eat it's just so not true absolutely not true I love eating and I eat a lot of calories um, but you're doing fine uh, you have a ton of choices just take a second to choose them believe it or not you're yeah you're not, you're not gonna die okay but paying someone for a quick corpse burger will add to the cycle and supply and demand that leads to more animals being harmed so stay strong okay Stay strong, stay vegan, you can do it. Remember that this feeling will pass as soon as you eat something. So do, you do not need to pay anyone to harm animals just because you have a problem with not doing proper meal planning. So plan a bit in advance, you'll be fine. If you're not at work or a party there are, and there are donuts or cookies there, remember that it's mind over matter. This is the true test. What will you do when no one is watching now I know they tell you not to point at the camera you're supposed to do this thing like 
say like this. This is what this is what Clinton did in a lot of speeches. That's what they do. They talk to their audiences like this because they don't want to feel like they're being scolded or talked down to. Well, I don't mind scolding you, talking down to you because in the end, you know, whatever is gonna work. I don't. You want me to talk to you like this? This is gonna help you to be being okay. For me, I don't mind if someone points their finger at me if I if I need a good scolding, <laughs> like when I didn't eat enough healthy foods. Anyway, real vegans never cheat, right? Okay, uh, where was I? Um, yeah, okay, real vegans never cheat because, it's, because veganism is not about food, it's about ethics. Real vegans remember that the greater vision, the greater vision here, animal liberation. With this, future staff rooms will contain only vegan donuts and cookies because eggs and cow's milk will be a thought, thought of as a gross thing from the past. All right. I'm having trouble reading my own words here. It's like, uh, okay, I don't get that. It's so weird reading out loud, isn't it? You ever notice how many mistakes we make? Anyway, to set yourself up for success, you need to be mature and plan a little. Okay, I'm talking to myself now. I need to be mature and I need to plan a little. Buy big bags or cans of lentils, chickpeas, rice, and beans, and always have some ready to go in your fridge that you can scoop in and heat up quickly with frozen veggies and vegan mayo or mustard or vegan barbecue sauce or olive oil and balsamic vinegar or hummus or tahini. You get the idea. There are thousands of vegan meal planning videos on YouTube to give you ideas for amazing vegan sauces which are the key to having delicious filling salads. Now, why is this underlined? I wonder, why do they want, why are they underlying that? There are thousands of vegan, no, that's fine, to give you, they don't like that. I guess this barbecue, they probably want it to be capitalized, don't they? All right, we'll give them that. Google those with friends and family members so you can have some support at home. Okay, okay. La 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 Oh my god it's vegan lasagna La 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 Oh my god it's vegan lasagna Yeah Number six keep walnuts, peanuts, and dates with you wherever you go so you can shove quick calories in and think clearly. The dates will help ease the dryness of the nuts. Number seven keep a small separate bag with small spoons in it filled with pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, and raisins. You know those teeny tiny little cute spoons? Something they, they give them out for free when you get a, a free sample of ice cream or something like that. Or anyway, you know, just little, just little cute tiny spoons that'll scoop up those little seeds. The reason I say that is if you're trying to eat sunflower seeds and um, pumpkin seeds, sometimes they're just so small, you're just like, they're all falling everywhere. So sometimes you need a spoon. So anyway, get a spoon. Keep a spoon with your seeds. All right, number eight. Buy a seed grinder and use it for flax and chia seeds every morning. That's what we do. Just a few spoons goes a long way. Why is it underlining this? Maybe it wants a comma here? Boop. Just a few spoons goes a long way to give you a boost of protein and calories if mixed with oats, oat milk, raisins, cinnamon, and chopped apple pieces. Cool. Number nine, take a second to make a mental list of all the vegans you admire and ask yourself what they would do if they were in your position right now. That kind of helps. Just sort of picture some vegans that you admire and they're with you and you're thinking, oh, I just want to go and get whatever, this, this, whatever, whatever it is you want to do that's not good for you, not good for the environment, not good for the animals. What would they do? They'd probably say, come on, uh, snap out of it. Probably give me a smack on the head. Snap out of it. <laughs> Throw water or cold water on your face. Wake up. Be who you really meant to be. Would you be proud to show them how you are handling this moment or would you be ashamed? Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a good one. I, I think that was good. Hey, these points, I think these are pretty good points. <laughs> they help me. Number 10. Feel like you might need to eat fish or a little piece of cheese? That's all in your head. Many good vegans go through a stage like that because society has brainwashed us to think this way whenever we feel tired or sad or whatever. People use food like drugs, but trust us, if you eat fish now, 
you'll feel like a complete fool in five minutes. Why? Because it's not the animal or the animal secretions that you need. It's the nutrients. It's the calories. You just want to fill your gut with something. Once you're full with a big, like I said, start with a big glass of water and then just cram some good healthy calories down there. They can be you know, something like nuts with a lot of oomph, a lot of fat if you want. But then once that's settled, you just wait a second, you'll be like, okay, I can think clearly, okay. And then you don't have this, this desire to run and buy that burger or that chicken wing or whatever. You know, you're just gonna, you're gonna have a chance to think, okay, who do I wanna be? What, what kind of a person do I wanna be when I go to bed tonight? Well, I wanna be proud of myself. So don't cave, don't give in, stay strong. Beyond Meat by Veggie Burgers instead. Think of the animals. Think Beyond Meat. It's time to be vegan. Get it through your head. Eleven. Take a second to make a mental list of the vegan documentaries you saw about horrific animal suffering and remember how much you want to help the animals. Yeah. Don't turn your back on them. Eat healthy vegan foods and let the animals live. Number 12. Toast with peanut butter and bananas is vegan. <laughs> so are every single veggie, fruit, nut, and seed. So is? So is every, yeah, I think it's so is. Toast with is and so is every. So is every single, yeah, that's better. 13. If you feel like you need more oomph, more calories to get over the hunger, eat anything in sight that's vegan. I mean anything. Because right now the most important thing is that you don't eat animal products. 14. If you know you're being invited to a party, eat before you leave the house. We know you used to go to these events and food was one of the main attractions, but you will be focusing on other things such as the main attraction of other things as the main attraction, such as the people. <laughs> I know what a lot of vegans are thinking. A lot of vegans are thinking they, they don't really like people that much anymore. Because they've realized how horrible people are. That people, you know, you look at people now when you're vegan and you, you, you see through them all the dead animals just floating around there, going down their intestines and that they're gonna shit out in the toilet. But, but you know, just remember, at one point, you were that person. You weren't yet vegan. So when you go to a party or an event, just try to see the majority of people is kind of being innocent. Like they, they really don't know what the heck's going on. They haven't seen the documentaries. They don't really get it. Granted, you might be with people who, who have seen the documentaries and who just don't give a fuck. Those people, you never pay attention to at all. Just ignore them completely. Forget about them. They're lost causes. You move on and you help people. You go and seek out in the room who has not yet heard about veganism. Who is it, it, who is it somebody there that, that could end up being like you in the future, end up being a good friend to you in the future? All right. And remember that all parties have some kind of fruit or veggie there. And if it's not on the table, just ask if they have an extra banana or slice of bread. You could have just you could have or just eat the amazing vegan bean salad you brought with you okay i guess they wanted an extra comma here somewhere right just ask if they have an extra banana banana comma or slice of bread okay so they like that number 15. oh wait did i finish yeah, or you could just have the amazing bean salad you brought with you. Bean salad is so easy to make. You just literally open a bunch of cans of different beans, different colors. You know, yellow beans and green beans and brown beans and black beans and throw in some chickpeas if you want. Add a little bit of oil if you want or what it might, you know, blend up some other veggie and pour it on as a sauce with some spices. So easy. So easy. Just Google easy vegan sauces. There's so many different recipes that make things taste mwah. Tofu scramble, tofu scramble, it's so easy to do, woo -hoo. Eating eggs is so last century, nobody needs to, so here's what you do. Mash tofu, green onions, and celery in a pan, add black salt, turmeric, and spices, yes you can. Mix in some vegan mayo, 
Mixing some vegan mayo. Now mix in a salty pickle. Yes, the way to go. Oh, ooh. Tofu scramble, tofu scramble. It's so easy to do. Woohoo. Learn how to make it, cause saving animals will make them happy and will make you happy too. The egg industry is just a cycle of misery. Let's make the animal holocaust history. The egg industry is just a cycle of misery. Let's make the animal holocaust history. Tofu scramble, tofu scramble. It's so easy to do. Woohoo! Learn how to make it, cause saving animals will make them happy and will make you happy too. Number 16. Always have oat or soy milk handy and remind yourself that you have no right to steal the milk from a baby cow just because you like the taste. Keep one liter Tetra packs of these with you and practice getting used to drinking these at room temperature. Yes, you heard right. There's no reason that all drinks must either be boiling hot or filled with ice cubes. Soy milk and oat milk are perfectly delicious at room temperature. Drink soy milk, oat milk, rice milk, almond milk, don't steal milk from a cow. Be vegan, start right now, follow that vegan teacher, she will show you how. Go to howdoigovegan.com, sing it with me. Howdoigovegan.com, sing it again. Howdoigovegan.com, sing it with me. Howdoigovegan.com. 17. Remind yourself that nothing tastes as good as being vegan feels. Seriously, being vegan means feeling proud that you're living your best life without giving in to the lame excuses that ex-vegans give. You're better than them. You're the real deal. You're super vegan to the rescue. Go fruit yourself, go fruit yourself, stop hurting animals. If you're out, remember there's even food in the dollar stores and pharmacies if that's all you're close to. Number 19. Carry a small can opener and a spoon with you for easy access to cans of peaches, pineapples, chickpeas, and peas whenever you're out. While you're there, pick up some fresh fruit like apples, bananas, kiwis, peaches, containers of blueberries, or strawberries. And you want to wash them? Just go to the closest public washroom and rinse them under the tap. Afraid you're gonna look weird doing that? Stop it, stop worrying about what people think. Instead, be ready to smile at whoever's beside you and say, bet you're jealous I have such an amazing looking vegan snack right now, aren't ya? And then, share it with them. Check the ingredients, check the ingredients, do it right away, if it's not vegan, Number 20. Walk into any grocery store and buy some crackers, fresh bread, or carrots and dip them into a jar of spicy hummus. If you like vegan cheese, buy that. Some of them are made for dipping into, like the ones with the cashew base. Yum! 21. If you like pretzels or tostitos with tomato salsa, eat those. 22. If you like candies, instead of eating anything with gelatin or with too much sugar, just buy a bag of frozen raspberries and eat those. Eat them one at a time, allowing each one to slowly thaw in your mouth. So delicious and so good for you. Gelatin is a protein obtained by boiling the skin, tendons, ligaments, and bones of cows or pigs. 23. Surround yourself with ethical vegans online that you can reach out to if you need support to stay on track. 24. If you're driving for a long trip, bring along those so-called baby carrots and also some mini tomatoes. They're easy to grab at a store along the way if you forgot to pack some. They're also great to eat if you're studying with friends at a cafe or out at the movies. You can hide the bags in your purse or backpack and dip in from time to time if there are no vegan options where you are. 25. 
If you're at a friend's house or at a relative's home and all they're serving is non-vegan food, say this to these mean vegan phobic people around you. If you love me, you will help me find something vegan to eat here because just like an alcoholic or a drug addict, I need help to kick my carnistic habit. So please don't tempt me with all these non-vegan stuff right in my face. Please be kind and help me make a quick sandwich with hummus or avocado or olives or anything filling right now so I can stay on my vegan path. And just a little side note, if you are in a situation like that and you have a vegan phobic family, just remember I'm with you in spirit cheering you on. You deserve to be loved and hugged and admired for what you're doing. You are trying so hard to be a good person and to help the animals. And if your family is cruel to you, then my heart goes out to you and just picture me giving you a big hug. Okay. 26. Follow vegan doctors, nurses, and dietitians to inspire you to eat well throughout the week so you can tap into their advice when you're feeling less than strong. Number 27, if you're in a hospital because you've been in a bike accident or something like that and you find yourself surrounded by ignorant or childlike vegan phobic staff, remember that, like the rest of society, many of them are overweight, unhealthy, and undisciplined themselves, and they may find it intimidating that you're trying to be healthier than they are. If they refuse to give you a vegan meal, tell them to give you triple the veggies and triple the fruit to carry you through this glitch in time. Don't be vegan phobic, don't be a pain in the ass. Be vegan fantastic, help vegans stay on the path. Number 28, remember this, french fries are vegan. So if you have nothing healthy around to eat, grab some of those. Ketchup's also vegan, and so is vinegar and salt. And number 29, stay healthy overall by sleeping well, drinking enough water, doing various yoga moves on a regular basis so you can have the discipline to be who you were always meant to be, a happy, healthy vegan. So what I do at my desk is I'm constantly doing at least some kind of exercise while I am reading or thinking about what to do. So I'm often having my foot, for example, over here on my desk to stretch out my pelvis. I alternate feet. And also another thing that I do is I take my arms and I pull one to the other side. So I kind of try to pull my arms apart almost like, if that makes sense. And I'm just pulling while I'm thinking. I do the other side as well and try to stretch out all of my muscles here. That's just a couple of the things that I do personally. Another thing that I do is I also lift my leg up like this. So I might try to stretch out my hip by just raising my whole foot up. That's just another tip. You don't have to do these things, but I don't go to a gym. I just sort of exercise throughout my day. Go bet yourself. Go veg yourself, stop hurting animals. Go vegan, go veg yourself. Go veg yourself, stop hurting animals. Go vegan. Number 30. Always carry a toothbrush with you. After you eat, take a second to drink another large glass of water and then brush your teeth. This will signal to your stomach and to your taste buds that eating is finished for the next six hours. So your brain will be able to move on and think of other things and you can continue to be a productive citizen by doing things to help make the world a better place for the animals, the planet, and humans. There's many more tips online, but hopefully this is a good start. And I also have a lot more tips that I'm going to share with you in the future. This list is only going to get longer and longer. Um, if you enjoy Discord, by the way, you can find new friends here at discord.gg vegan. Tell them that Vegan Teacher sent you. And if you need help, free coaching, I highly suggest you sign up for Challenge 22. They have recipes and they are wonderful people there who understand exactly where you are. They're not going to be mean to you. They're just going to give you all kinds of advice and any questions that you have, they will help. To answer them. 
So I want to thank everybody for being here today. It is hug time. Give yourself a big hug because I know that you're trying. I know you're doing your best. We're all just doing our best with all of our past experiences, and with everything we've been through, with the body that we're born into, the family that we're born into, the community that we're born into. So I want to just acknowledge that I know that everybody here is trying their best with the tools that they have. Sometimes it doesn't feel like it's enough, but today you get a hug. Give yourself a hug, all right? If you're seriously, honestly trying, then you deserve it. Okay, so coming up next, there are gonna be a bunch of other videos. Click on them, be curious, subscribe to this channel, press the notification bell, and help me get the animals out of hell. And I will be seeing you in the next video, which will be probably tomorrow, all right? Thanks for being here, bye for now. Let's follow that vegan teacher on YouTube right now. Let's help her save every chicken pig.